Okay, so there is an ice cream seller who has recorded how many sales they have every Tuesday over a period of seven weeks. And they've also recorded the temperature outside at 12 noon. So we've got temperature along the horizontal axis, we've got the number of sales at the vertical axis, and we've got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points. And uh, just for clarity, I've uh, said precisely what values they are. So here we've got this one uh, was 18 degrees centigrade and there were 35 sales, okay? So, first of all, what does the diagram reveal? Okay, so it looks like, seeing as there is, we're going from the bottom left to the top right, that there is some linear correlation, positive correlation, going with this data. And so there appears to be some connection between the temperature and the number of sales of ice creams, which is something that you would probably expect so um, the warmer the temperature, the more sales of ice cream that there would be, okay? So we'd be looking at the number of sales of ice cream depending on the temperature, okay, which sounds appropriate. Um, there does appear to be an outlier here or what appears to be an outlier, uh, where there, it was 14 degrees centigrade, but there were 50 sales, okay, which doesn't match the rest of the data. Um, so what you could do, because you've got the exact data there, you could um, work out, out an outlier, work out whether there is an outlier, um, so that you could do your calculation either using the quartiles or using the mean of standard deviation. I would probably go with the uh, mean of standard deviation if you're using the temperatures. Uh, well, temp temperatures are unlikely to have a, an outlier because they're all contained between 10 and 18. But if you use um, the uh, number of sales, then they could be an outlier, uh, but it may well not be. Um, so, Part B, uh, one of the Tuesdays was during the Easter school holidays. Which data point is this likely to be? Well, it's likely to be that one that we've identified as away from the rest of the data. Uh, the temperature wasn't so warm. I mean, it was 14 degrees centigrade, which is all right. But uh, there were certainly more sales that we would probably expect because the, last, uh, the other Tuesday that it was 14 degrees centigrade, there was only half as many sales. So it makes sense that that one is the one that we're talking about in part B. Now, if that data point is then removed, okay, so if we remove that data point, then what effect would this have on the product moment correlation coefficient for this data, so that value of R? Well, uh, we'd probably be expecting that the value of R for this data would be uh, reasonably close to one, um, but what will happen is that uh, with that data point removed, the data now looks more like it is in a straight line. And so the value of the product moment correlation coefficient would get closer to being one. Okay, And so you would have stronger positive correlation because of it. 